Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Huge. Trump's pick for Supreme Court leaked. History-making decision changes everything. When former Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy decided to step down and retire, it came time for the president to nominate someone. That is when the rat race began. Democrats and Republicans have been eating each other alive in order to get the person they wanted nominated and confirmed. But a recent news story about one particular senator shows us that we might know who the president's Supreme Court nominee is sooner rather than later. President Trump probably is not going to like the fact that his nominee was given away before he even had a chance to announce it. The Daily Mail reported. President Donald Trump is teasing the highly anticipated announcement of his Supreme Court justice pick. But Republican Senator Orrin Hatch may have ruined the surprise as he hints the nominee is a woman. Trump took to Twitter Saturday morning saying, Big decision will soon be made on our next Justice of the Supreme Court. He is setting up a primetime announcement for his pick that will fill Justice Anthony Kennedy's vacancy for Monday at 9 p.m. and has reportedly narrowed down his choices down to three favorites, federal appeals judges Amy Coney Barrett, Brett Kavanaugh, and Raymond Kethledge. Congressman Hatch, who is one of the highest-ranking members of the Senate hinted that the nominee is a woman in an op-ed article published Friday for Utah newspaper The Deseret News. He is also a senior member of the Senate Judiciary Committee, which considers executive nominations and oversees the Department of Justice. Hatch dropped his hints by using she and her pronouns in his piece. But no matter the nominee's background or credentials, progressives will do everything they can to paint her as a closet partisan, if not an outright extremist, he wrote in his article. He added, I will devote all my energies to ensuring that we confirm the kind of Supreme Court justice America needs, a justice who says what the law is, not what she wants it to be, a justice who calls balls and strikes instead of swinging for the fences, a justice whose foremost allegiance is to the American people and to the Constitution. He also lauded the seemingly female nominee as very politicized adding, we should no be surprised when Democrats cry bloody murder at the announcement of the president's Supreme Court nominee. From an original list of 25 possible Supreme Court justices and after several interviews, Trump's short list reportedly narrowed down to Coney Barrett, Kavanaugh, and Kethledge, with Coney Barrett being the only woman on the list. Hatch's words set all eyes on 46-year-old Coney Barrett, a Navy veteran and U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals judge for the Seventh Circuit. She also retweeted Trump's tweet Saturday morning about the big decision. Trump teased crowds at a campaign rally in Montana Thursday evening with his choice. As you know there is now a vacancy on the Supreme Court and if you turn in Monday at 9 o'clock, I think you're going to be extremely happy with the selection, right? He said. And they're all great. They're all great, he added on his selection. Trump has said he would like to pick a woman but a report indicates he and Coney Barrett did not click in their interview. While she would appeal the most to the conservative base her confirmation hearing would be expected to be the most contiguous, especially if Democrats bring up Roe v. Wade. Coney Barrett is a strict Catholic. Kavanaugh, a U.S. Court of Appeals judge in Maryland who was a White House staff secretary to George W. Bush from 2003 to 2006, was formerly reported to be a front-runner from the start. But there is talk Kethledge, a Court of Appeals judge from Michigan, could be the dark horse who takes the prize as Trump was said to have loved him during their interview. But the president's final choice may come down to his gut. If President Trump is able to nominate and confirm a second Supreme Court justice he would likely be one of the presidents with the largest number of SCOTUS confirmations. Now more than ever we need another conservative SCOTUS in order to determine judicial proceedings on the federal level for the next 30 to 50 years. Something that is highly powerful, which is why Democrats are working so hard to ensure this new SCOTUS is not confirmed. If Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg dies as well, considering the fact that she is well into her 80s, that would allow President Trump to have an even greater level of influence on the Supreme Court level. Something that is unheard of in modern history. The American people need this badly and the White House administration, as a result, must do everything in their power to ensure a confirmation. No silly business and no antics. This is too important and the stakes are too high. This needs to be one of the top priorities of the Senate and the White House. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.